Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very special video. So today I'm talking about all the basic products that a beginner should have or need in order to start off with makeup. I know it is so overwhelming when we step into the makeup world because we have tons of products lying there and we don't know which one to pick up. So this is my video and I'm going to share the products that I think if you have uh, as a beginner you are good to go and these are the products that I love and few of them are uh, which I used to use when I was a beginner. Also all the products I'm talking about today are going to be under 1000 rupees each so these are on a budget as well and you don't have to splurge or buy expensive products to start off with. So if you are on a budget and you are just starting out as a beginner and you want to know how to do your makeup and what products you should have in your kit then stay tuned and keep on watching. Since you are starting out I would definitely recommend you guys to have a good moisturizer in your pocket. So this one from Neutrogena is the one I used to use a lot. I used to use this product and I loved it so that's why I am recommending it to you and this is great for oily to normal skin so pretty much all skin types can wear it and if you are just starting out I would definitely recommend you to invest in this product. A lot of us don't know what a primer do and we generally don't invest in a primer but I would suggest you guys to invest in this one this is the Glam Girl Cosmetics HT Studio Photogenic Primer honestly this primer is great it is very lightweight onto the skin and it doesn't feel greasy and oily or anything as such because it is gel based primer and it keeps your makeup on for a very long period of time as well. So as a beginner I know it is so complicated to go and buy a foundation for yourself and you are really hesitant to apply foundation onto your face on everyday basis as well because foundations are quite thicker. So you have two options with you either you can go for BB creams which are generally very light weight so there is one from ponds i love this one and this was my go-to product when i started out but the problem with this one is that it doesn't have shades so if you are looking for the one where you can find your shades as well maybe you can go and try the lakme cc cream lakme cc cream also works the same way and it has a bit more coverage than your uh, Ponds BB cream but both are amazing and you can go and try out one for you which suits your skin. Alternatively you can go and invest in the powder foundation as well. The one I have with me right now is the L'Oreal Matte Magic powder foundation. So this powder has got a little bit of coverage in it so you you can wear it on an everyday basis and it is perfect for that but if you really want to invest in a foundation and you can extend your budget a bit more i would suggest you to go for the l'oreal infallible foundation this is the great foundation and it works really wonder and i am also using this one so what i've done today is i have mixed it with the primer that I always use and I am applying it all over my skin right now and with the help of a buffing brush this is from Real Techniques I'm gonna blend out everything all over my face so concealers are quite optional so after applying your foundation if you still feel like there are certain areas which are looking discolored and there is a color mismatch on your skin then you can go ahead and apply a concealer and for that I would recommend you guys to maybe invest in this LA Girl Pro HD Concealer this is great for the price this works wonder it has amazing shades and it has now corrected as well so people who have really dark under eye circle can go with a corrector and then a concealer otherwise a concealer should work for you and this has got amazing coverage as well also to apply the concealer you can just scoop it out on the back of your hand and apply onto the under eye area and any area which you feel has a color mismatch and to blend it out you can either use your fingers the way I'm showing you right here or you can use a blending brush as well the one I'm using is from Pack. again really affordable and I have the price in the description box so you can go and check that out so after you have applied your BB cream or 
foundation and concealer now it's time to set everything in place and for that I'm using the same L'Oreal matte magic powder so you need to take very little of it and just apply all over your face and you are good to go the reason why we use powder to set everything is in place is because foundations and concealers tends to move and concealer especially tends to crease a lot so it's really important to set everything in place so that everything lasts longer and your makeup also looks fresh throughout the day so as a beginner it's not important to have the highlighter and contour if you just have a blush you are good to go because it gives you the right amount of color onto your cheeks but if you are planning to buy a highlighter and contour kit I have this one right now with me from sleek and I love this one because the highlighter looks quite natural onto the skin and even the contour has grayish tone in it so it looks like a contour I know this product is hard to get in India an alternative to this will be the NYX contour kit it has the same concept even the color looks similar so you can go and check this out on Nykaa.com and I think they have amazing deals going on on Nykaa right now as well. So to apply the contour powder you can make a fishy face. It gives you the guideline where the product should go and just map out the line that which you can see on your skin and then blend it upward. And for the highlighter you can either touch your Skin and see where your bone is starting out cheekbones are starting out alternatively you can place one finger below your eye and on the second one is the place where your highlighter should go for the blush I love the Lakme uh, absolute duo blushes for two reasons because the color are quite natural and goes for Indian skin tones really well second is that it has two colors in it so you have an option to choose from and uh, I generally mix these two and apply all over my skin so to apply the blush all you have to do is to smile and put the blush onto the apple of your cheeks and just blend it upward so as a beginner we always tend to forget how important it is to do our brows and it really makes a huge difference even if you don't do anything on your eyes if you have done your brows correctly you are good to go so for the brows I recommend you to go for this Maybelline fashion brow it is quite affordable it's just 175 rupees and it do the job for you it has two colors in it so I have chosen for the darker brown one at this point of time I am doing a little bit of cheating so the eyeshadow palette I have for you is not under 1000 rupees it is 1200 rupees but I highly recommend this product to you because it has some amazing colors and the one I'm talking about is the one from Glam Girl Cosmetics. So I have the one uh, in the twilight shade. They have moonlight and starlight as well I believe. So you can go and check all, everything out on Nykaa.com. I'll have a link in the description box as well. And the bonus point is that it comes with a brush of its own. So it has a flat side and it has a fluffier side as well so you can apply your product with this and blend out with the fluffier side which I feel is really great so if you can extend your budget a bit more go ahead and buy this palette because this works amazingly I know how much we Indian loves our black kajal so I personally love brown kajal instead of black kajal and for that I recommend you to go for the Lakme Iconic brown kajal. It works great and right now I am wearing this onto my eyes and it looks amazingly soft and natural. It is a waterproof product as well and smudge proof at the same time so it is great budget buy. It comes in different shades as well so you can go for a black, a blue according to your preference. Most of the people are not comfortable with liquid eyeliners and liquid eyeliners are still debatable in Indian market. But if you are someone who love wearing eyeliners and you like the look of eyeliner, you can actually go ahead and buy this black magic liquid eyeliner from Nykaa. 
this is amazing the only thing i don't like about this eyeliner is that it gives you a glossy finish apart from that this stuff works amazingly and stays on to your eyelids for a very long period of time so if you have oily eyelids you can actually look for something like this which stays for a very long time on to your eyelids so even if you don't have any sort of eye makeup i would highly recommend you to go and grab this piece of uh, eyelash curler for you this works amazing the one i have with me is from health and glow and it was quite cheap you can get similar sort of thing uh from vega itself and it was around 110 rupees so this stuff works amazingly because it curls your lashes and opens up your eyes and you can instantly see a big massive difference in how your eyes are looking if you are planning to buy a mascara i swear by this product and i highly recommend you guys to go and get one for yourself so this is the one from sugar and it is their lash balm limitless mascara this is the one i'm wearing right now on my eyes and it works amazingly it gives you amazing lashes your lashes looks really feathered and fuller and it gives you almost like a falsies effect whereas you are not really putting any falsies So as a beginner when it comes to the lips I know it is super intimidating to go and buy a bright color so you can basically start off with very neutral tones onto your lips you can basically try out the Lakme 9 to 5 lip and cheek uh mousse matte mousse and it works amazingly it gives you very sheer and nice color onto the lips and you can wear it as your uh blush as well so the color i have with me is uh, a brown color and it's called coco soft it is a very nice brown color and works amazing on all indian skin tones if you can spend a bit more i would highly 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 recommend you guys to go and get these lipsticks from l'oreal paris so these are the l'oreal paris color rich moist matte lipstick and the one i have with me is in the shade raspberry syrup it is a nice pink deep pink color and this works amazing with most of the indian skin tone i'm going to give you a swatch right here so that you can see so this is how it looks like on to the hand and this is how it looks on to my lips it is very creamy and soft and subtle and feels really comfortable on to the lips and goes on for a very long period of time so these are some of my favorite makeup products that i feel will work really nice for you all of these products are under 1000 rupees each so these are budget friendly as well you don't have to have all of the products that i've mentioned so for say if you don't want to put eye shadows you can skip all of those and just go ahead with a mascara so it's all depends on you how comfortable you are with makeup and how comfortable you are with the product this is a very easy and simple look that i put together using the products that i've mentioned and i hope you like the look as well as well as my recommendations so if you like this video then please share it with your friends who would love to watch my videos and who would get benefit from this particular video share it with those people as well and like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you haven't already then what are you waiting for also follow me on instagram because i do share tips and techniques and quick products reviews and quick small interviews the way i did one last week with sonic sarvate so make sure you go and follow me on instagram as well to get sneak peek into my life and what is happening and what is coming on and yeah that's all for the video and i'll see you in my next video till then stay bronze and keep blushing bye